This is the Nike From The Lab Part 2 pack consisting of a Phantom Vision, a Phantom Venom and two Mercurials. And it falls in the wake of the future lab pack that we've already seen on the pitch. But unlike the first lap pack, this is clearly the Hulk version where something went badly out of hand at the lap and something started mutating. So it's part super crazy and part super clean. But today we're going to take the whole shebang to the pitch so you guys can get a feeling of what they look like in action. So the story behind the From The Lab Part 2 pack is, as you can see, kind of split in two. So on one side, we have this super crisp and clean, very elegant white, black and red Superfly 7 and Vapor 13. And then on the other side, we have, on the opposite side of the spectrum as well, the Hulk green, black and red Nike Phantoms, which are... um. Wild, I think, is the best way to describe him. If a pair of boots were ever to look like a mad scientist, these would probably fit the bill. But there is actually a bit of reason behind the madness, because the two Phantoms here are actually inspired by the launch colorway of the OG T90 Laser 3s that dropped back in December 2009, when Nike indeed took this electric green, black and red and slapped it on both of the Phantom models. And of course, the most obvious thing to slap it on would be the Phantom Venoms, because it's kind of the spiritual successor to the original T90 Laser 3s because of the whole striking elements thing. But no matter what, both of these Phantoms are made for people who are okay with standing out because uh, they are definitely <laughs> out there. But to be fair, I think Nike could have done a slightly better job if they actually painted the color under the fins here black instead of green and also having the fins in red to make it look a little bit more like the original. But then again, I guess you gotta take everything you can. And they do still look a lot like it. But to be honest, I've also been scratching my head a little bit about why Nike took a white, black and red material and bundled it with a green, black and red Phantom Vision 2 in the same pack. Especially considering the fact that we have a white, black and red Vision from the player-inspired pack. So why these two aren't together instead in the same pack is a little bit beyond me. But I guess that's just one more of the many things that I don't understand. But from a tech point of view, it is business as usual. And if we jump back to the Phantom Venom here, it is Nike's boot made for people looking for power and accuracy, which was funnily enough also the case back in 2009. But the thing is that the Phantom Venom here is quite a bit more nimble and lightweight than the T90 Laser 3, which is of course in part because of the fly knit upper, but also because of this here hyper reactive outsole with the bladed studs that's great for cutting and changing direction. Of course, Nike also managed to maintain this off-center lacing system, giving you a big clean striking surface. And while it might not have as much grip and ping as back in the day, these here precision power striking fins make it really fun and give you a good amount of texture and solidity when you strike the ball. Which means that shooting is fun in this bad boy, which was also the deal for its bigger brother from ten and a half years ago. Now the Phantom Venom's younger brother, the Vision 2, is also, surprise surprise, the same. And that's not necessarily a bad thing, because if it ain't broken, you shouldn't fix it. And the Vision 2 is still a brilliant boot, partly because it has this two-layer upper. It consists of this inner quad-fit mesh sleeve that's basically soft for a personal fit, but then it also tightens up when your foot starts to move to give you the lockdown you need. And that actually works pretty well. Then you have this outer shell made out of fly knit that has a little bit of a micro textured finish to it so you get a bit more grip when you're on the ball and because Nike gave you these hidden ghost laces it gives you the sensation at least that you have a completely uninterrupted touch on the ball when you're in possession and because of this fly knit quad fit mesh combination it's also extremely soft and comfortable straight out of the box in other words it's a boot that's hard to be mad at if you can live with it being super green at least 
Now finally, the Vapor 13 and Superfly 7 not only look like the coolest, cleanest cats in the game, but they also are. Because in my opinion, this is the best speed boot out there right now. And that is in part down to two things. One, the Flyknit upper here, which has these high tenacity yarns woven into the upper, which just like the quad fit mesh, by the way, goes in to tighten up the upper when your foot starts to move to give you the lockdown you need. But then it's also down to the fact that it has this anatomical split bladed outsole with the aero track spine sitting in the middle of it, making it extremely responsive. And also when you push off, you get super aggressive grip, which just make you feel faster. And because the boot is just in general very comfortable, it has a soft, thin, slightly textured upper and is in general extremely light, it's something I imagine that players in all positions would really enjoy wearing. And for those of you asking, yes, the Superfly 7 and Vapor 13 is technically exactly the same boot, apart from the fact that the Superfly has a color and the Vapor doesn't. So it's up to you to figure out what you like the best. So there you have them, my friends, the Nike From The Lab Part 2 pack, which is, in part at least, inspired by the Hulk of Nike boots, the T90 Laser 3. But if you want any of the new Nike boots here, you can go and cock them directly from unisports.com right over there. But before you bounce, tell us what you think of this new pack in the comment section right down below. And of course, also make sure to subscribe with the little bells notification on to get a little ding every time we release a video so you can combat the boredom of quarantine. And also, if you want to go learn how to improve as a footballer on your own, check the playlist right down there. With that said, guys, I'm signing off. Cheerio.